<laughs> this is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. So listen up. All right. Well, Vanessa Bryant has announced that these Kobe and Gianna Bryant courts will be cropping up at a local park near you. They have plans to renovate basketball courts across the country with Mamba and Mamba Seats a theme. So she posted that on her Instagram page. That is going to be done in collaboration with Body Armor and the Mamba and Mamba Sita Sports Foundation. Ten courts throughout the United States will be renovated and they'll have nods to Kobe and Gigi. Love it. Keep the mm-hmm. legacy alive, man. L.A., Philly, D.C., Atlanta, Chicago, Houston, Dallas, Miami, Phoenix, and Detroit. I was watching this video yesterday with uh, it was like a reel with Kobe talking about uh, his daughter carrying on his legacy in basketball. Lord have mercy, boy. You cannot watch those and not your eyes on water. All right. And a new reality series is going to be featuring Jada Cheese, Ari Fletcher, and Malibu Mitch. The Jasmine brand exclusively reports it's a new non-scripted series that's allegedly in the works at BET. It'll follow the lives of young socialites living in the city. So it could be interesting. I'm sure a lot of people are going to watch that. So shout out to them. I actually had Malibu Mitch and Ari Fletcher on lip service before. Oh. All right. Now, um, Anderson Pack is going to be directing a comedy drama called K-Pops, and he's going to star in it also alongside his son. It's going to basically tell the story of a washed-up musician who travels to Korea to write for K-Pop stars, discovering that his long-lost son is set to front one of the country's hottest new groups. And, you know, his mom is from Korea, but she was adopted, so he said he never knew anything about his Korean heritage until he met his wife. Uh, Janelle Monet is going to be portraying Josephine Baker in a TV series, and it's called De La Resistance. And so that'll be really dope to see Josephine Baker's role as a spy for the Allies during the French Resistance, helping defeat the Nazis, and her experience as one of the world's most iconic, talented, and glamorous entertainers. Big role, big role, Janelle. Drop on the clues bomb for Janelle Monet. Big I love role. her acting. Got to body that one. And you know, Joey Badass uh, wasn't paid for Two Distant Strangers, and he actually had to go to therapy after starring in that Oscar-winning short film. He said he did it because it was a lot of internalization. He had to go to therapy. He said, I remember the first scene in the movie when I'm coming out of the girl's apartment, and please see me, and they slam me on the floor. I remember shooting that in real time, and it was people driving by. They would stop, and they would roll down their windows and be like, yo, is this real or is this for a movie? What's going on? You good? He said it's traumatic for those wow. innocent bystanders as well. I can imagine. I'm sure he got something on the back end, though, right? Yeah, he said it, you know, it was supposed to be a feature originally. He didn't get paid. It was a project, an experiment. He said once I got involved, it activated a lot of people. Once they saw my execution, everybody wanted to be a part of the production team. And that's what helped uh, get it that push. Mm. All right, and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for 2022. The inductees were announced yesterday. And some of the inductees include Lionel Richie, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, Eminem, Dolly Parton, Carly Simon, Harry Belafonte, Duran Duran, Eurythmics, Pat Benatar, and Judas Priest. So congratulations to all of them. All of those individuals deserve to get in, but I really wish they would take the rock and roll off of that and just call it the Music Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. Right? Because it's just like, what about all the other genres? I mean, that ain't rock and roll. Now, some other people who Lionel Richie ain't rock and roll. Some other people who could have made it, but they didn't this year, and they definitely uh, deserved it. Tribe Called Quest. Definitely Hip-hop make it. all I mean, day. Fela mm-hmm. Kuti. Dion yes. Warwick. Oh, come mm-hmm. on now. Yep. Mm-hmm. Devo, Kate Bush, all of them. They didn't get enough votes at this induction, but we got to make sure they get in. Drop right? the rock and roll. Just call it the Music Hall of Fame. All right, well, that is your rumor report. All right, thank you, Miss Yee. The People's Choice Mix is up next. And again, shout out to Houston, everybody that's heading out to uh, my car show on Father's Day weekend. It's a perfect Father's Day gift. June 19th is Houston versus New York City. Get your tickets. I'm just talking celebrity cars, exotic cars, uh, carnival rides, uh, amusement rides and games. And it's going to be a family fun day. So get your tickets. It's going to be a lot of, of fun. My whole family's heading out there. And uh, Guy and myself would also be signing uh, copies of our book as well. So hope to see you there. And the mix is up next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.